Hello everybody, emergency report. Uh, we'll try to make it quick as possible on it. There was a quite a few people uh, message me here. What's with the energy? What's going on? What's the story? Uh, what's happening and why we feel all like this? Um, first of all, before you to understand the energies on it, we are coexist on a three different uh, uh, dimensions mostly that's the the third dimensional the physical part here uh, the fourth dimension which is the magical world and the fifth dimensions that we exist within the soul and we keep on going up and up now what happened is that uh, currently well, we can shift between the third the fourth the fifth the fifth the fourth the third go up and down like craziness and what's happening within the energies is uh, right now it's that uh, currently uh, there is this uh, finger of god there is a trigger within the motions it is a, uh, a very powerful uh, it's just happening right now if you take a look at it, uh, the map uh, i use uh, astroteam.com uh, their chart is pretty good it shows it up right away I'm talking about uh, the moon, it's in 24 degrees of Taurus. Uh, Saturn, it's in 26 degrees of Sagittarius. And Jupiter is in 22 degrees of Libra. In the bottom, those are the two planets uh, on it. Uh, and on the top, the finger of the god, that it's the moon, uh, which is presents uh, this... Um, this energy to be half itself uh, manifesting into the uh, to the material to the three-dimensional world and that's why uh, currently you know everything it's so tense but uh, why it's been so tense in the past two weeks and why it's so tense it's going to be increased uh, over and over uh, three things uh, i want to point you out number one uh, you need to understand that uh, we shifting all the time and to understand this shifting you have to understand that uh, the planets uh, are helping us to shift uh, this part and anytime when the planet goes uh, from uh, retrograde to direct or from uh, direct to a retrograde we have this uh, moments of silence inside of us on some level we don't talk on some level we don't uh, uh, we don't uh, communicate we actually adjusting ourselves uh, with uh, this part and currently the the thing that it shifts right now has been shifting for the past two three days uh, that is a Venus and uh, Venus is right now in uh, 13 degrees of Aries and the Sun is in 13 degrees of Pisces and the energy between uh, that it's too strong for some to handle uh, the energy could be we're talking about uh, uh, soul energy transfer to a physical energy and you will feel like electric shocks through your body you will feel this powers like the energy just flows in and goes to your legs and it's like you get uh, energized the other thing is um, that also helps on that energy right now that is a mercury uh, join uh, neptune and pisces those gonna be messages talking just like uh, very highly very pulsive uh, messages uh, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me that's uh, coming up so what do you gotta do about uh, the third thing I was talking to you is uh, that uh, you have to find your uh, truth on all the three dimensions that we are uh, that's the third the fourth and the fifth your truth did you be in your truth on all of them and if you've been true to all of them, then you will find uh, this uh, alignment between them three. And they're all going to become one. And the reason you to understand this, there is a book. Uh, I'm going to recommend you uh, a books. 
the first book, uh, you to understand this transition. Uh, it's actually kind of like my story, I've written a long time ago. It's uh, about the mechanic, the way I am, uh, who all of a sudden get enlightened. He forgets his wrenches and he goes and uh, do a teaching, and then he comes back later on he, to his wrenches. But it's a very nice uh, story. Uh, the book it's called Illusions, uh, and it's uh, the author is Richard Bach, Richard Bach, and from the same uh, author uh, the book it's called One. Uh, the one uh, it's actually you to understand it. It's uh, uh, represents that you live in different places, uh, but. Uh, actually they all coexist and this is what the part uh, is you to understand that um, we coexist on different uh, dimensions of uh, through our life and to understand that the third the fourth and the fifth uh, dimension they're still one reality you you just choosing how to react on this uh, different parts and that's why uh, some of you feel crazy because of uh, one of these parts uh, the energy is too strong uh, it's too focused and you have to look at it what is the focus is on to usually there is a trigger and what i'm saying is the trigger is that something triggered that energy to be so impulsive there you might read a post you might hear a post or maybe someone made a post or some kind of information, some kind of something you hear or listen or music or sound or anything uh, and it triggers you to go through that and you're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And that is the part of uh, you to understand uh, how to navigate to those energies. Currently, the energies shift. We are shifting the love within the soul. And the love within the soul right now, it's actually love within the body. Structural intimacy, love within the body that is going to transition itself into the soul, into the spirituality. And that is a Venus transition. So you can understand you can't have all the time this sexual part. This sexual part, is it's a something... Uh, uh, very need for physical existence so we can continue with life but you understand that there is something more behind it there is something more underneath the surface to understand that uh, when you do the things when you do the love that is actually a creation and that's why Venus is gonna comes out from areas and it's gonna go back to Pisces Simply because people who had to learn this lesson a long time ago, they didn't learn it. So now it brings that uh, vibrations of uh, uh, this intimacy, this uh, sexuality inside. Simply because uh, Venus and Mars, they're both in areas uh, strictly um, intimacy sign, a sign that uh, uh, enjoys uh, the sexuality. And uh, right now, uh, Venus the, uh, is going to be pull it away simply so the feminine to learn uh, that uh, you, you move too fast. You trying to get to a physical part. It's not about the physical. You hold on as a female. You have this power of the creations inside of you. And that's why some of the females, they're going to be dropped down into Pisces so they can learn to, that uh, it's not about uh, physical, material, or any other things. It is about uh, creation. And that's why the energy within the, some of the females will be very strange on it. About the masculine, the masculine is moving, uh, going forward and he wants to fight, he wants to get his powers uh, to be more and more uh, powerful. As Mars goes in Taurus, uh, which is going to happen, over, we going to feel this preparations of uh, this uh, slowing uh, energy in the warrior. But that's when the warrior 
do its games. This is the time when the warrior is like, I'm back home, I'm counting my money of how much things I got in the material world. And that's why when Amaris comes in and Taurus, uh, it's going to be um, <coughs> this energy. And some of you can feel that uh, part. Now, uh, we still have this, uh, I will talk more in astrology report later on, but we still have uh, this uh, Mercury and uh, Neptune uh, conjunctions together with the Sun. They're all three coming up, pile up together. And that uh, can trigger uh, very, very strong psychic powers. That will be increasing this talk, this uh, learning about the psychic. Uh, this is the time when uh, a lot of the people are going to have their uh, uh, evaluations. And what I mean evaluations, I'm talking about uh, reveal the past seek through the past and finally understand what they are and that's why this conjunction is going to be very strong uh, also to be focused with uh, um, this transformation of 5d to the 4d magical part so the 3d reality to get it and that's why it's so strong uh, this uh, energy of the current moment and it's good for you to understand that uh, if you've been living your truth and through all these uh, uh, dimensions, the thing's going to be peaceful for you simply because you work that out. Now you can basically move and you can be everything nice and smooth and it goes perfectly good for you. But uh, if you hasn't, then, then there's going to be some tensions, there's going to be some pressures. Uh, there's going to be some rush, there is going to be some push. The energy will go where it's the problem is. Uh, uh, simply because uh, the problem, it's like a flow. You, you try to get a, a hose, a water hose, and you just grab it. And all of a sudden, the pressure starts build up in the hose. And it looks like a giant balloon and pops up. And when your energy comes in, and you hold on to that, that energy piles up now you feel that energy is there it doesn't go smooth and that's mean that uh, you have to look at that problem there you have to see that problems in there you have to see it for yourself all right so that's all i got for you i will talk to you more over the weekend about the astrology report thank you so much be loved